Currently, handheld radios used by emergency responders often do not have sufficient power to reliably transmit or receive signals when the user is inside a large reinforced concrete structure or in a wooded area. This presents a serious tactical control and safety problem for emergency responders at large commercial and industrial facilities or remote locations. Continuous communication among all on-site emergency personnel is a foundation for command and control protocols for all public safety organizations. At a minimum, loss of communication impedes the speedy resolution of the incident and creates an unsafe situation. Some of the problems that we have with communications in the city of Johnstown include large buildings, subterranean structures, where our radio communications capabilities were impeded and we weren't able to communicate. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, that causes a problem because if one of our personnel gets into an emergency situation, they're not going to be able to communicate, call for help, signal a mayday, or answer a PAR. Sirmusa's emergency radio communication system provides a simple method to extend licensed radio frequency voice communications into areas unreachable by radio repeaters. By using license-free wireless local area network access points in the 900 MHz, 2.4 and 5.8 GHz ISM band as point-to-point -point shots, the system can convert radio voice traffic into TCP IP data and back. The unit positioned inside the building acts as an ad hoc radio relay unit that temporarily provides more dependable communications to handheld radios being used inside the building. Benefits include constant radio contact. The RF to IP bridge allows first responders inside a building to remain in constant contact with each other and those outside of the building. Interoperability. The system is compatible with current and legacy handsets. IP67 certified. The unit is impermeable to dust and water immersion from 15 centimeters and 1 meter. Ruggedized. The system has been field tested with firefighters and can withstand 300 degree Fahrenheit heat. The immediate market opportunity for the emergency radio communication system is that of fire departments. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there were 310,400 firefighters employed in the United States in 2008. In that same year, there were a total of 30,436 fire departments in the United States. These fire departments would serve as the primary initial purchasers of the communication system. For more information about the Sermusa Emergency Radio Communication System or more information about TRIC, please visit our website at www.technologyacceleration.org.